Ask Reddit by Blonde Tabby. What are some places where no children should be allowed? Reddit. Exhibit A. Are teenagers. Deleted. Report them you have to be 13 to have an account on TikTok. Stop bringing children into my bar and complaining that I swear. It's a fucking bar. Right? This weekend I got yelled at for being loud in a brewery at 11.30pm by a mom with a baby carrier because the baby was sleeping. I have 4 kids and know better than anyone it's hard to get a night out, but for real, do a game night at a friend's house or something. I want to wear a road cone in my head and sing 90s pop songs while I play cornhole. Beauty pageants. France banned child beauty pageants for kids under the age of 16. Aside from that, I don't think there are any other western countries that have banned child pageants, unfortunately, correct me if I'm wrong. The horrors displayed on the show toddlers and tiaras are enough evidence that these pageants are not safe for children. The bar I work at, but people are shocked when they can't bring their kids with them. So I'm totally with you that most bars are not the place for babies and kids but my husband is English and it is so different there. At pubs on the weekends, it is all families and it is kind of cool. Just like, moms and dads and kids hanging out while the parents have a few pints and the kids enjoy a fish and chips or cottage pie and they are watching the game or hanging out with other families. It was actually really charming whenever I'm back in the UK with him. I can't imagine taking my baby into a bar where I live, but I totally take my baby down the pub on a Saturday Sunday afternoon in England. The 9pm screening of Avatar at my local cinema last Friday night. The 9.30pm screening of M3 GAN at my local cinema last Friday night. I'm right there with you man. Strip club. I worked in a strip club years ago and some idiot brought in his toddler. He couldn't figure out why he was kicked out. Most of the internet. Kids need their own spaces on the internet. They used to have them but stuff like Club Penguin shut down so they got pushed onto social media. It doesn't help that bad parents use Yout about a babysitter. Social media. I agree, even in 2023 some parents and tech smart either my daughter isn't allowed a phone until she's older literally has an iPad with everything on my know it all aunt. The apartment above mine. Sad story, I once lived in an apartment where I could hear that the upstairs neighbors were abusing their kids, I could hear loud footfalls and adults screaming, followed by much lighter footfalls and children crying hysterically. I called the city's child abuse hotline and the noise abruptly stopped a few days later, but I have no idea what happened to the kids or the adults. I really wish that they would follow up on calls with what they did with the kids and parents. Just had a baby crying in the movie theater like it was his religion. In my town, there are screenings for parents with babies. Light is dimmed but not fully dark, volume is a bit lower than normal. The soul is basically empty with at most one parent and their infant per row. I watched a couple of movies with my daughter. You see a lot of parents walking around to soothe their babies, or a parent changing a diaper. Since everyone is on the same page no one cares if your infant starts shouting. Most cases when parents do this is while they are sleeping. I know cinema is not for kids, but as a parent in winter, you need to find places to go and get distracted. I do not want to be one of those parents ruining someone else's experience, therefore I am grateful my local cinema does this. Strip clubs. Child free weddings. R-rated late movies on school nights. Gambling establishments. Went to late night showing of the movie Ted, we're talking 10pm on a week night. 5 minutes into the movie mom comes in with 3 kids. 5 minutes later the mom walked out with 3 kids. Switch up. What if I provide air conditioning? R. Kelly's house. Snapchat and TikTok.
my teams in PvP. I thought this tool was paired with some 13 yo who carried me to a bunch of wins, now we're game buddies. The Duggars family home. War. Onlefans. Omegle. I heard about that site years ago and children and teenagers were talking to pedas, groomers, etc. And these disgusting people were on the site showing their freaking private parts to kids. There was a post in a group I'm in on Facebook that their ratio, I think, child was on the site and some pervert was showing himself to the child. Apparently a slightly older sibling showed it to the child. Live theater performances. Until your kid learns how to not talk and scream over performers, get a babysitter. Funny enough, several years ago I treated my dad to his very first live theater performance, A Christmas Carol. During the introduction of the Ghost of Christmas Past, the theater was quiet save for soft music as the young lady descended from above. In his deep baritone voice, and without volume control of any kind, he said to me, I'd love to have sex with her the young lady actually looked in our direction, as did most of the audience. I am still feeling the embarrassment to this day. It was almost 10 years ago now. So, in addition to kids, to older parents who do not have shut up filters and or volume control. The dog park. Seriously. I've seen people bring their kids to a dog park without even having a dog themselves. Like it's some sort of canine petting zoo rather than canine fight club. Weddings where they say adults only or no children. When they put that on the invitation they are putting it there for a fucking reason. It doesn't mean no children except for yours, unless they tell you specifically it's okay of course. Reminds me of a wedding of a friend. He and his now wife had a 6 year old kid when they got married. She was the ring bearer for the ceremony and they got a babysitter for the reception party. The invitation said no children and apparently one of the guests got super upset that this one kid, the child of the couple themselves, was in the wedding at all. A white van. Whoa up there. That's my minivan you're talking about there. My basement. This guy's basement. Recently took my kid to Vegas, because I have family that live nearby, we all took our kids to the strip because there's a bunch of family friendly activities there now, my daughter kept pointing out all the smokers and drinking and half naked show girls and I thought no, I'm the asshole, this is supposed to be the place for adults to come and have fun. As someone who lives in Vegas thank you for realizing this. I don't think you're an asshole if that was the first time you've done it but too many times have I been out at some ungodly hour and people will be dragging their kids around with them. If you come back and want to take your kids somewhere off the strip we have a couple of water parks and plenty of beautiful state national parks within an hour drive of the strip. Instagram and TikTok. I'd add Snapchat to that list as well. Some real creeps out there. Children below a certain age should not be allowed to or expected to spend long hours visiting people in a hospice facility. It's no fun for a kid and can be scarring. I get letting kids old enough to understand the situation visit, but screaming toddlers and badly behaved 10 year old who have almost no connection to the patient have no business being there. They are disruptive as hell. People are there trying to die peacefully. Rowdy kids running up and down the hall is disrespectful to everyone. Patients are the guest's staff. I have a list of other things that shouldn't be permitted, this is the only one that fits this thread. My uncle died in hospice and we had to fly out. The facility specially had a room for kids to be distracted and it had a sliding door to the playground. I thought it was a pretty good idea. As a 8 year old I didn't disrupt my parents and probably worked wonders for early young kids too. An Ambler Convention The North American Mall and Brando Lookalikes Association I saw a teenager bring her newborn infant I heard her bragging about it had been less than a month, 
in between Metallica and White Snake songs into a bowling alley on rock night and I never wanted to punch a teenager more than I did that night. Uck. I also heard an infant crying in a 4x4 driven by a drunkard that was out deliberately disturbing a campsite at 2am on a Wednesday once. I would like to have punched those people in the throat, too. I guess children shouldn't be allowed with stupid teenagers with no direction, or obnoxious drunks. What was she bragging about didn't get it. A rave. They're usually 18 plus.